Routers make many different operations possible in a woodworking shop. And this basic video primer is to show you a certain class of bit called the edge forming router bits. They work very well. They're especially suited for beginners because they can give you such excellent results. And I want to give you a tour of three particular bits that I think you'll find very useful. The first bit I want to show you is the roundover bit. And then we'll be looking at the chamfer bit. And finally, the cove bit. Now I'm going to show you how all these work routing actual wood in this router table. But before I do, I want to show you why edge forming bits are unique and why they're very easy to use safely. Regardless of the profile, all edge forming bits have the same thing in common. They have a bearing bolted to them, usually at the end, although not always. And the purpose of the bearing is to guide the travel of the bit relative to the edge. This keeps the profile extremely consistent and it also makes the bit very safe to use. Now, edge forming bits can be used in handheld routers, but right now I'm going to put some of these bits in a router table, actually run some wood across them to show you how they work and the kinds of profiles that they create. This is the round over bit and as you can see it creates a quarter circle profile on the edges of pieces of wood. This is a particularly large round over bit. They come very small too, right down to 1 8 inch in radius. What you'll find with the round over bit is that it gives woodwork a softer appearance. It also helps edges to hold up better on tabletops and dressers and cabinets because the edge is rounded, it's much less likely to get damaged in use. The next bit is the chamfer bit. And it's actually one of my very favorite edge forming bits. This particular one creates a 45 degree edge around the corners of pieces of wood. You can get them to create different angles as well. I especially like to use chamfer bits on large outdoor timber work. It gives an ordinary 6x6 or 8x8 a really nice appearance. The last bit I want to show you is the cove bit. This particular one has steps in the profile to make it a little more interesting. Coves come in large and small sizes and they create a semicircular trough profile in the wood you're routing. Now as I mentioned before, edge forming router bits can be used in handheld routers or in table mounted routers. In both cases though it's very important that you move the wood opposite to the direction of rotation of the bit. This improves safety by preventing the chance of kickback and it also gives you a much smoother profile. Now even though edge forming router bits can guide themselves because of the bearing on top, they don't actually need a fence. I still use a fence and there's two reasons why. First of all, it encloses part of the bit and makes the operation safer. There's no chance that I can hit the bit accidentally as I'm using it. Also, if the fence is like the one you see here, with the vacuum cork, it just makes the whole operation a lot cleaner. I want to leave you with one last thing. Edge forming bits work best when you take multiple shallow passes. You could ram the wood across at full depth in one go, but that's going to lead to more splintering, and in the case of hardwoods, probably some burning of the edge of the wood too. So two or three shallow passes, that final pass taking off the last little bit of wood, you'll get an excellent crisp burn free profile and you'll come to realize why I like edge forming bits so well too.